Greetings, dear seekers of knowledge and lovers of the cosmos. Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and pondered the secrets it holds within its starry embrace? It's a canvas that has captured human imagination since time immemorial, and yet it holds more mysteries than we've ever unraveled. At the heart of these mysteries lie the enigmatic entities known as black holes, cosmic phenomena that bend the very fabric of space and time. Today, let us journey together through the mind and legacy of one of the most brilliant astrophysicists of the 20th century, Subramanian Chandrasekhar, as we explore the intersection of the cosmos, our existence, and the future that technology promises or threatens to unfold. Picture, if you will, the vast expanse of the universe, with galaxies swirling in a dance choreographed by gravity and stars burning with the fires of creation and destruction. It was within this astronomical stage that Chandrasekhar made his mark, gazing not just into the heavens, but into the potential futures woven by the threads of astrophysics. His insights on the evolution of stars, particularly his theory on the mass limit for white dwarfs to remain stable, now known as the Chandrasekhar limit, opened the door to understanding how stars become peculiar and powerful objects like black holes. What are the implications of these celestial bodies, which trap light and challenge our very perceptions of reality? This is the question that Chandrasekhar's work compels us to ask, as it ignites a curiosity about the relationship between the cosmic and the personal. It beckons us to consider our place in an ever-expanding universe and confronts us with the infinite. Chandrasekhar's journey was one of intellectual bravery. Born in 1910 in Lahore, British India, he was a prodigy who published his first paper on the stability of stellar orbits at the tender age of 19. His seminal work on the structure and evolution of stars led to a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1983, sharing the award with William A. Fowler. His revolutionary insights not only expanded our understanding of the cosmos, but also spurred a philosophical inquiry into the nature of existence itself. The black holes of nature are the most perfect macroscopic objects there are in the universe, he once said. The only elements in their construction are our concepts of space and time. In Chandrasekhar's view, these space-time singularities challenge us to rethink our existence. His thoughts resonate with the existential musings of philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus, who also grappled with the concept of the infinite, albeit from a human perspective. The parallels between the finite human condition and the infinite nature of black holes suggest a universe that is both indifferent and awe-inspiring, prompting us to reflect on our significance and insignificance in the grand scheme of things. Let us not forget that Chandrasekhar's era was one of tumultuous change, where the world saw not only the horrors of war, but the birth of technologies that would shrink distances and expand minds. His work presaged an era when humanity's technological advancements would allow us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. As we stand on this technological frontier, we find ourselves teetering on the edge of discovery and destruction much like the event horizon of a black hole, forever a point of no return. The ethical implications of Chandrasekhar's insights are profound. As we develop technologies capable of harnessing the energy of stars or simulating the conditions near a black hole, we must ask ourselves, how far should we go in bending the laws of nature to our will? This question echoes the moral considerations faced by the scientists of the Manhattan Project, which coincidentally unfolded during Chandrasekhar's early career. The awe-inspiring power of the universe, much like that of the atomic nucleus, holds both the promise of progress and the specter of peril. Cultural reflections of Chandrasekhar's work abound, with black holes and the relativity of space and time captivating the imaginations of artists, writers, and filmmakers. Take, for example, the film Interstellar, which draws directly upon Chandrasekhar's theoretical foundations to craft a narrative that intertwines love, loss, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge against the backdrop of a black hole. 
Such stories not only bring scientific concepts to life, but also challenge us to confront our place in the universe both emotionally and intellectually. In contemporary times, the debates and discussions around black holes, quantum mechanics, and the very fabric of the universe continue to evolve. Notably, the Event Horizon Telescope Project captured the first image of a black hole in 2019, providing a glimpse into the invisible that Chandrasekhar had predicted decades earlier. The discussions that have since emerged range from the technical intricacies of black hole imaging to the philosophical implications of observing such unfathomable entities. The relevance and importance of Chandrasekhar's work have only grown in an age where our technological capabilities inch ever closer to unlocking the secrets he contemplated. Current research on gravitational waves, for instance, offers new tools for probing the universe and provides empirical evidence for some of Chandrasekhar's theoretical predictions. As we consider the potential for quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and space exploration, the importance of understanding the physics of the cosmos becomes ever more pressing. In bringing these ideas together, we arrive at a synthesis that spans the scientific and the philosophical. Chandrasekhar's legacy is not only one of brilliant scientific discovery, but also of a deeper rumination on our place in the universe, a call to both wonder and humility. I thank you, dear audience, for joining me on this journey through the mind of Subramanian Chandrasekhar and the vastness of the cosmos. In the spirit of his legacy, let us continue to question, to explore, and to dream, for in doing so we honor the limitless potential of human curiosity and the inexorable pull of the unknown. As you go forth, ponder these questions. What does the existence of black holes say about the nature of our universe? How does this change our understanding of life, purpose, and destiny? Discuss these questions with others, if you wish, in the comments below, or take them with you into the night as you once again look up at the stars. And so I bid you farewell with a message of hope and inspiration. May your explorations, both intellectual and personal, be as boundless as the universe that Subramanya and Chandrasekhar sought to understand. May your thirst for knowledge be as insatiable as a black hole, and may your journey through life be as luminous as the stars that he studied. Keep looking up, keep wondering, and never stop unraveling the threads of infinity that weave this wondrous tapestry we call existence.